Alright, what is up you guys? I wish I could start on a good note today, but... <sighs> Amazon sent me the wrong thing. It's not that I'm mad, I'm just... I'm disappointed. It was supposed to be red. And it came in silver. Do you know how disappointing that is? Like, somebody has to be able to relate to me for that, because... Now I have to send it back. That's gonna take another, like, five days. Nobody wants to wait that long. Enough of that. Though I'm disappointed, life will go on, and as promised, I have this bike to reveal, so how about we get to it? out there you probably recognize the bike but for those who aren't fanatics this is an 07 CBR 1000 I paid 2800 bucks for it and some of the reasons I got such a good deal are it got in a crash you can see some of the wear on these pieces and then a nice big crack there um, the tires are totally worn almost scary to ride and then 30,000 miles, actually a little over. I mean, for anybody that doesn't bike, that may not seem like a lot, but for those who do, you know it is. Some of the cool things about this bike, and I, I think they're cool anyway, um, it's actually got a stretched rear swing arm. It's about eight inches, it makes for nice acceleration um, and wheel spinning. Um, that's why that tire is so bald. Uh, and then it's in this nice rose black. The issue with that is if I were to try to get that painted, it would be really expensive. So I'm just gonna get a new fairing set for it. I quite like the look of that stretch swing arm. I mean, you tell me down below if you like it, but I think it looks sweet. Um, one of the challenges to doing that is the fact that when you're in corners, you have to fight it a lot more. I mean. When you're riding a bike, you already have to kind of push into corners, but that makes it a lot worse. It's fun in acceleration, but you'll start spinning if you hit it too hard. And so, I mean, it's a really fun bike and it handles quite well, but it's got some things that I'm gonna be fixing. If you're new, thanks for stopping by. If you've seen my last video, thanks for coming back. If you liked it, like and subscribe to my channel. I'll be doing a bunch more videos like these. I'm getting really hungry, so that's it for today. Take care, and we'll see you next time. What? <laughs> One last thing I forgot about. The battery is bad and the only reason I'm adding this in is because I just went to start it and it won't start. So I'm all the way out here and now I have to get home. So we're uh, we're trying to jump this thing and we'll see how that goes. Second update, um, I'm just, 
I'm laying here for my uh, my buddy to get back. We ha he, we have jumper cables, so it's not like we were totally unprepared. Be prepared. Uh, but we didn't have an Allen wrench, and we have to be able to get under the seat. So I'm just chilling. I'm just chilling while while uh, get to watch this dope sunset underneath these crazy bipolar Arizona clouds. But uh, not too bad. Later, 12 seconds later. Well, after a long time, no, just kidding, it's like half an hour. We got it started! That was way more intense than it needed to be, but you know, I'm happy. Alright, guys, moral of the story don't leave your battery running if you have a bad battery. <laughs> it took a bit longer than I expected. Tell me what you guys thought of the bike uh, in the comments below and and uh, I'll be telling you all the things I'm doing to it in the next video, and I'll see you then. Take care.